push you guys and work hard on you guys sometimes because we know you can be better. potential to be really, really, really good. Please, let's do it again. Rife pushes us not only to be a better band, but to be better people in general. He not only like promotes excellence within his band and wants us to win and everything, he promotes us to be better in life too. Like he sets us up with basic life skills, learning instruction and stuff like that. Band isn't just band, it's almost like a lifestyle class at the same time. Going into my junior year, I got the music over the summer. I took my trumpet home, I think, every night <laughs> and practiced that year because I didn't know the fingers and I didn't understand the instrument in any way whatsoever. Welcome to our annual preview performance. What you're about to hear tonight is the product of a summer's length of work. Uh, you'll notice there are no music stands in front of any of the wind players, uh, so everything you hear is fully memorized, or mostly fully memorized. Tonight is by no means perfect, but it's just to give you a taste of what is to come. Hey band. Look at this crowd that came out to watch the end of August band camp run for. That's pretty sweet. Two weeks, hard work, done and done. We are in real good shape. Let's show it off now. Finish. We do all front slides the first time. Tempo at 120, please. My favorite part is getting to work with all of the talented girls that we have on the guard. It's nice to see them progress from when we do tryouts in April to having band camp in August to doing our competitions starting in September to all the way to November when we do nationals. It's a lot. It's really nice to see like the progression of everybody as a whole. I'm going to miss the performances the most. Um, it's a really big excitement. They don't. They try and hype you up as much as you can when you're doing the performances and right before, but it's never the same until you actually do it. It's a lot that when you're starting to do the performances, it's so intense and it's so emotional and it really keeps you going. And I feel like that's why I come back to is the performances. I think my favorite show would have to be probably Revolution. For me, it was that it wasn't just a story. It like had a really really strong message and. It was my favorite because I remember going to state and having people come up to me afterwards. Girls were in tears telling me how they loved the show so much and it moved them so much and they were going to remember the show forever. And that's what I like about band, that it's something that people should remember for the rest of their lives. To make the imprint on the person is really what makes the difference and why I stay in band. The imprint that you make on people's lives.
I really liked making all of the friends that I've made and getting to see how sections have developed. Um, I started in trumpet and I moved to low brass, so it was definitely really cool to see how different sections interact and how different music progresses and it's really cool to see the show starting from the beginning and how it ends up. It was like scary and stuff, but it was actually really fun. The season started with, but well, Lake Park was great because we we made finals again there, which is cool because you're going up against all those Illinois schools that start school two or three weeks before us, so they're that far ahead of us. Here we go, set. Without stopping, all the way through. Sets five, six. Just march, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm just saying, take the last color guard the box there. Here we go. Last time. The whole thing up set. four steps. There's pretty much a, a chain of command. You have students up through section leaders to drum majors to staff members to assistant director to director. And the section leaders know what, when to bring something to a drum major. Drum majors know when to bring something to staff. I mean, if everything were to come to, to me, there's just no way with 228 kids, there's no way to even try to have time to solve everything. Okay, can they like hear me if I talk or no? Here we go, set. Toga, toga, yeah, man. Here we go, stand by. <laughs> Reset and play it. Music play. And Parker, up to tempo, go. Please listen for two seconds, please. Hey, man, no. Marching band is a lot, as much physical, it's a lot mental too. Um, you have to have the focus and the drive mentally to have a good show, and then if you have a good show, the scores and the numbers will come.
band program is it's one of the first things that I'll talk about and I think it's probably the best transition opportunity that we have for students. They come in as ninth graders and uh, um, you know if they're from Greendale or even if they're outside of Greendale they get a chance to be immersed with a quarter of the school starting um, you know, if they're ninth graders starting even in the spring you know and, uh, um, and it's just an, an opportunity for them to walk into high school then the first real day of school um, already knowing a lot of people already being part of something huge and uh, I don't think that there's anything that we do during the summer or any other time that can be better than that for students. that mid-season point now where in the last few weeks there's been some stress in some sections there's been some disrespect to people there's been some and I don't think it's ever mean-spirited I think it's just because we're here all the time and we're, some people can have people's nerves and that's just the way life is when you're around the same group of people all the time it happens in any team sport it happens in anything where you're together this much Starting today, we have to put all that stuff aside. State is two weeks from Saturday. State is two weeks from Saturday. If you do the best that you can do, and work the hardest that you can work, and put the best product that we can put out there at State, then the results don't matter in that, well, whatever happens, happens. We did the best we can. We can't play defense to other groups. I've been told that I've improved a lot and I can actually see it and it's great to be a senior and take that responsibility and now being a leader and teaching the newcomers it's just it's just a great responsibility I'd say. You all look fantastic by the way some of you look better than others. It gets monotonous because this is the one rehearsal of the whole year where we get to go set by set. We never start out with a filler is what, what they call it. If someone gets hurt, inevitably there's always one or two kids that sign up for the class, go through the whole summer, and then for whatever reason, decide not to do it anymore. So I wasn't in band my freshman year, but then I remember the night before band camp started, my sophomore year, one of my good friends said to me, hey, we need trumpet fillers. And I thought to myself, okay, why not? So I kind of walked into it, not having any idea what to expect and fell in love right away, even though I have I had no idea how to play trumpet. <laughs> so one more time, top of number three, please. Several years ago, I just started doing three things before shows. And we always talk about having fun with it. Some people, if they, it's funny, when, when a new staff member or somebody new comes, or someone comes to watch a rehearsal, compared to traditional marching band rehearsals or drum corps rehearsals, there's much more talking, there's much more socializing that goes on during our rehearsals than the traditional standard marching band. Um, my philosophy with that though is, well, they're going to give up that much time to be here. Why shouldn't they have a little fun when they're here? All right, number three, as always, is... I will win! You're in a booth! <laughs> Thank you.
they never wanna leave. Greendale used to always host a show back in the 90s. For whatever reason, it stopped. And my first year, fall of 2001, there was no home show. So we jumped in second year, 2002, and started hosting. This year was our 14th year hosting. Keep, keep the wolf out. Keep the wolf out of the barn. It's kind of the same structure as the, the student leadership model. You have parents that are in charge of concessions, in charge of parking, in charge, in charge of these different areas. And when they leave, or when they anticipate leaving, they'll train a new person. Damn. <laughs> Did you guys play like that outside? Holy cow! Maintain that ending like we've done the last few days and like you just did inside, regardless of how cold it is. Number two, speaking of how cold and wet it is, it's not raining right now, which is good. The audience has been sitting through all of these shows, okay? And there's us in Eau Claire. Let's entertain the heck out of them with these last two shows. One, two, three. Yes! I just love how we can all just get together and play music because not everyone loves to play music or a musical instrument, but I just feel like it's amazing. And both my parents are music teachers, so I've pretty much grown up with music so that there's other people that love the same thing I do is great. I think we can still improve on last night. And I think we can be better musically and we can be better visually. So let's do that. Go out there and show them that we're that much better overnight. The big wake-up call obviously was going up to Minnesota and the River Falls show and seeing River Falls because we knew that they were in our class this year and it was good that they were in our class because it pushed us and I'm sure it pushed them to be as good as you can be because you know there's really good competition. We have to be more aggressive like Mr. Robles said, the judges said that too, and just fight for the win. Minnesota, we took fifth place, the wind was crazy, um, and everything was just going all wacky, but he's like, hey, well, it sounded good, so I'm fine, and he knew going up to Minnesota and River Falls that there was a good chance we weren't going to win. Go have fun. I mean, that's rule number three, as always, have fun, so as long as we feel like we accomplished everything we needed to leaving the field, he doesn't care if we win or lose. If you only talk about winning, you're just going to set yourself up for disappointment somewhere. At some point, we're not going to win state, right. and that's okay as long as it's as long as the reason for not winning state was not because you didn't try the hardest to put the best show together. Can't play defense. competed against River Falls, I thought we were going to lose, but I was still going to do my best. 
being in pit, especially being like a synth, like a piano, you have to plug in, you have to be responsible for the soundboard and two speakers and hauling it out in like the blazing sun of summer <laughs> for band camp. And then That's it's really cold at Tuesday nights. You have to be here extra hours for pit in general. So, uh, I mean, quite a lot of work. <laughs> It is a lot of work, like the hours that we put into it and then like sectionals and having like after school stuff and like trying to stay up with homework and stuff. It is a lot of work and like, but it's in the end, it's like, it's worth it because we do great in the end. So that last week after finding out that they had beat us up in River Falls, that really motivated the kids. They put in 47, 48 hours of extra outside of rehearsal time in that last week leading up to state. The little stuff, like, sure, I'm going to miss nationals and I'm going to miss state days, but like the little stuff, like breaking it down with little brass or eating cheesy potatoes or mac and cheese at state, just like the little things that you don't hear about if you're not a part of it, but those are like the little things that make band so much fun. The best part about band is that there's so many people in band that I would have never talked to if I had never been in band. Like a lot of my section, there would have been no way I would have had any classes with any of them and like now we're super close friends and it's like, I like being married with you guys. What I like about band is the fact that, you know, in a lot of sports there's a bench, you know, so if one kid isn't doing very well or, you know, messes up one time, you can throw them on the bench. But band isn't like that, you know, Rife kind of creates this environment where everyone gets to be included no matter what. And I think that's really special. Well, I mean, I'm really nervous, to be honest. I think that we put a lot of effort forth this week. Um, personally, I kind of wonder sometimes why we couldn't have maybe done more earlier on in the season. Don't lose the intensity of the focus. But just from my perspective, musically and things like that, there's just been a huge growth period. The most important thing tomorrow is just going out there, having fun with our show, and leaving it all on the field. Having fun, but still getting stuff done. This is good. This is good. The kids always say, I, I get stupid goofy sometimes during rehearsals and I'll sing. We're going to my field. Just to lighten the mood so if they see me being dumb or if they can laugh at me, what? then they can laugh at somebody else and have fun during rehearsal, but then we can also change and focus. Heels up, stand tall, hips forward. One day I went up to him and I said, hey Rife, you should give me a solo in the show next year. But I was talking about trumpet, which was, and it was supposed to be funny because I'm not very good at trumpet at all. And he kind of, you know, slanted his head to the side and was like, oh, that's, that's not a bad idea. And then all of a sudden, before I knew it, I had a violin solo in the show and it just kind of came into being on its own. This time we're gonna do it with the horns on. Parker and move on a halt like he did at Nationals his freshman year. When you walk off that field after performing another state-winning show, can you look each one of your family members in the eye and tell them you gave it your all? Don't walk off the field knowing that you could have done more. Walk off knowing that you left it all on the field. Cuts, cuts, cut, freeze. Ladies and gentlemen, there is absolutely zero reason for anyone today to be like, nope, that was my spot. I marched my spot right. You are dead wrong if you do that. You must march the form. Okay? If your line is off, you need to be in the line. If you are if the whole front line is off and you're the one person that's not in it, you need to get your butt in it today. Do not be the one person saying, no, I'm right, it's too far forward. They're, you can't do that. The judges don't know what is right or what is not right. They just look at the form, they look at the picture. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm sorry I'm sounding intense right now, but you have to march the form. The wrong is the one individual who says, no, I am right. That, they, you have to throw that out today. You've got to be one group today. If you don't leave the field at Perkins Stadium emotional, then you did not give it everything you got today.
This year, which is very, very uncommon for me in a, in a state speech, was I usually write the speech out. I had stuff planned out in my mind. It all came from the head and the heart. You had to tell the kids honestly this year. You need to score 90 today! They were like, it's really big and there won't be, a, like, you don't think there's as many people as that there actually is, and like, I didn't believe it. And when I stepped out for my first year, I was just like, wow. Most of my job is uh, to get the kids prepared for marching, um, making sure they're in step, um, their, their posture, horn angles, things like that. Push the heels through, place the heel down, do not shuffle, do not pound the feet into the ground. And then once we're on the field, it's just a matter of making sure all the kids hit their dots, that their body facings are the right way, uh, they're going the right direction, whether they're back marching, forward marching. We actually had a Cinderella show planned. We even announced it and said, this is what we're doing. But as we started to go further in the design process, we, we just struggled. We hit brick wall after brick wall after brick wall, and what are we gonna do? best moments of the show that the judges liked is as the ballad is crescendoing it, you have this big curve form and all these curves and then all of a sudden you create one little box in that corner on the lower right hand corner as you're looking at the field and they loved it and as they we didn't get credit for that early in the season because you didn't see it because you're not high enough but as you get high enough your focus goes all over there and you're like oh that's smart somebody came up with the box in idea and thought it works. It's simple. It's easy to create effect visually because you can make boxes throughout the entire show. No matter what happens later, Capture this moment and never forget this moment. I care about the 228 people here that are real happy right now with what just happened on this field. We can't control what's going on in the stadium right now, but we can control what we just did. Greendale on three. One, two, three. Greendale! My show went really, really well. I show of the year, surprisingly, even though I am that, the boot. The boot doesn't make it any easier, and afterwards it was excruciating. Everyone's been putting in so much hard work, and all the seniors who are here, they just really want to be here, so I think everyone's just going to like leave it on the field and do the best they can. It was pretty good. I mean, musically, it couldn't have been any better. I mean, I don't get to watch people march very much, so I don't know how it looked visually, but I feel good. After we came off the field at State, uh, we just felt amazing. Like, this was a really good show. So at that point, 
It was like, no matter what happens, if River Falls beats us, we know we played well. I just felt like we all pulled it together as a band and we had our best performance. And it was just really great. And I think everyone felt like we did really good. What's your highlight of the, of the state championships? It's always when the kids walk off the field. Because you don't have the highs or lows of scores yet. You don't have, it doesn't matter. You, don't, you can't control what the eight people in a press box are going to write down on a piece of paper. Um, but you can control what you do as a group of 228 kids together on a field. And when they walk off and there's, there's some tears and there's smiles and they're super excited with, the, with what they did, that's where everything pays off and that's, that's always the cool moment. In second place, earning a first division award with a score of 88.4, please congratulate River Falls. Earning the first division award with a score of 91. During awards, we got 91.2 for overall. It was like, wow, like, we earned this. Like, we worked really hard for this, and it's really cool that we just accomplished this. In the end, when we won and we got, like, the best score in, like, history of Greendale, it was just, like, the most amazing feeling ever. Please be gracious in victory. You guys earned this so much. So much. No matter what happens, I'm proud of the band as a whole, and I'm glad we gave it our all. I can top that. I've been trying for 31 years to get a 90, and I finally got a 91. Pizza on me. On behalf of the entire staff, thank you for all of your hard work, for everything that you do to make our jobs super easy. We love working with you. We love doing what we do for you and with you and together with you, and it's just awesome. And this is just the icing on the cake. And then at State, they had, to that point, their best show of the season, by far. Again, we had never expected to get a 91. We had never had a 90 ever. And going on early in the day, usually those scores are a little bit lower. But to get a 91 at State, that was, that was pretty sweet. This is the first time that we had a true ballad where the kids were forced to really listen and really play softly and with subtlety and that's what BOA looks for. change that line, that trumpet line over there. Fantastic. I love the slow motion. Whenever you had slower stuff, it was like, oh, oh, that was fantastic.
So our rain plan was kind of to break into different sections and work the different uh, parts that needed doing, so body movement, music, marching basics, things like that. So uh, we each took our different strengths, like the Robles who took all the marching basics and stuff like that, right, took the body movement. Uh, Alex, Thody, and I took the music. So we uh, found the different spots in the different, you know, wood one, the wood one feature, things that needed running like that, brass, the brass features. Uh, we asked the kids if there were any trouble spots that they were having, you know, notes, ranges, anything to do with playing the instrument that they needed help with, and we kind of spent that time ironing out some of those things, just getting them to be a bit more expressive in things, especially in the ballad. Uh, an instrument switch for trumpets isn't always the easiest thing, so we just talked them through more of how to be more expressive, get some more dynamics, just get some more range out of them. It's always just about pushing them to that next level. Because they don't want us just standing still, and that's something that we definitely, especially at BOA, there's hardly any time that you stand still. So make sure you take this stuff seriously, and you have to be picky about it. So when one hand has to be a certain way, like fingers and everything's got to be exact, it's really important, so make sure that you do that and get 20 minutes to do so. The section leader structure is a senior or two, and then also a junior or a sophomore to learn the ropes. For example, if you're a senior section leader, you remember things from your freshman, sophomore, junior year that you liked and didn't like from your section leader, so then you apply that. Just make sure that if you're not just standing there, you're actually leaning back a little bit. Okay. And you kind of become your own, taking the experiences that you've had before to become your own section leader.
I think it's a really neat thing. It's a, we all call it a band family, and it is. This is all volunteer. You know, you know, everybody, every little bit helps. Thank you to all for, if you helped one show, if you helped an hour, if you helped every show, I mean, it takes us all and it takes everybody and, and the time that you give is just, is really amazing and, and thank you all for, for the time that you do give. There's a lot that I do for the band. Um, I guess my favorite thing that I do for the band is I'm a head chaperone. Um, what that means to me is that I am the eyes, the ears, the mouth, and the heart of all those parents that can't be there when we travel. I watch the kids as a parent. Um, I listen to them as a parent. I correct them as a parent. Um, and I love them as a parent. Chaperones are always needed for additional jobs once we get to the competition, whether it's helping with food, helping with uniforms, helping with um, equipment. Greenvale Band is so much fun! It's an army to the 10th degree. There's the involvement with the kids, but then there's the whole separate um, crew section because the, they do so much and we don't see them. The uniform mom has done so much behind the scenes, so much work, and she does it throughout the whole year. This year's show, to get the props on and off the field, it took 24 people. There is no way that uh, the school or, or just Mr. Reifenberg could get everything done what they need to get done. It's the, the support of time, it's uh, supporting our events monetarily, um, it's just you know everything that goes into it is something that is a big piece of the program. So thank you to everyone who's involved with that. I don't expect little princes and princesses um, I know that they're going to get in trouble. They're high schoolers. What do you expect? They're going to run up and down the hallways. Then you just give them that mom look that says, don't let me catch you doing it again. Um, they're going to be too loud in the rooms because they're having fun. And that's a good thing. You remind them once, you have to go back a second time. Hey, what would your parents do? They'd say, knock it off. I just want everybody to know how proud I am of you and your hard work. And I appreciate how you all bond together as a team. If one person drops a rifle, that's not the end of the world. That's not the end of anything. Um, you guys pull it all together and, and you make it work and you win and you succeed. People that run into the center now, don't run in too early. We've been doing this for so long and it's so much to see that we have to leave it behind because it's really become, we've become such a family over the years and it's like you're here every day, you're with them every single day, you get to know all these people and then suddenly it's all over with and you perform your last time at nationals and it's like, hey, I'm never doing this again. Mark does a great job taking kids that are struggling and getting them up to a level where they fit in with everybody else. What I've always said is he wants every last kid to do their absolute best and he will take, take somebody off on the side and work with them and 
not in a demeaning way at all. It's encouraging and this is how stuff has to happen. We had those extra marketing rehearsals and even if four kids show up, he takes those four kids and they get better because he was working with them. It was cool to have his son Marcus then with us this year too because he marched Blue Stars, so drum corps this last summer. So he brought those skills and that ability to us as well. And he's a trumpet player, so then he got to work with the brass a little bit. And cool to see the, the father-son relationship within our band program. It's been a pleasure for me watching you guys grow over four years, um, watching you guys coming in as scared freshmen, don't know your left foot from your right foot, to all of a sudden fitting in and then um, to nationals. So I'm very proud. Thank you for everything you guys have done. What you need that, that first initial impact to sound like is if you're shooting it out of a cannon. Tammy is our guard instructor. She started in 2005. And she always lets me know that because we have not lost state since she's been our guard instructor. The joke I often say is the best thing I ever did was marry the guard instructor. Because then we always, sometimes good guard instructors are hard to find. So we'll be a, a team forever. We have a great staff that just works well together. And most importantly, puts the kids first. This activity wouldn't be possible at this size and this level and this quality without a good staff. Stadium's pretty packed. Don't let the amount of people in the stands make you do anything different than you normally do. What you know how to do. Don't overdo things when you're not supposed to. I'm very excited. We represent the entire state today in front of the nation here and that first impact and that end of the show and John Mackey and the crowd and all that stuff makes everyone walk away from here being like, all right. <laughs> Number three, this could be the final time. Have fun. I am so excited to be able to perform for tons and thousands of people right now. It's like it's the performance of a lifetime.
probably the best overall BOA performance we've ever So, yeah, they brought it. It was loud. It was really a lot of power. They brought their A game tonight. Real good. And speechless. Our final semifinalist, number 34, the Green Hope High School Action Band from Northern North Carolina. about having fun and I think some people like forget that but it's literally just going out and doing a really cool show just having fun with your friends it's not about you know we all make mistakes it happens so just who cares like it's about just being in band like that's why you join because it's so fun winning is not the most important part in our band it's the togetherness from the beginning it's always been we're a family we are one, we are all going to be together until the end, like, we're all here to help each other. So at the end of the day, winning is great, but with our band, it was never about winning, it was about being together and getting everybody to be together and be happy while being together. You just ended the 2015 season so incredibly. You put everything you had into that performance. Wins, what a sound. Percussion, a top-notch musical performance. Guard, best show of the season by far. Your entire staff and I are so very thrilled with your efforts, your enthusiasm, and your dedication. Seniors, thank you for leaving a stellar mark on this program. You have continued to raise the bar for the Greenville Marching Band, and you will always be part of this family. To all 228 of you, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for an amazing season. You are the best, and you make us all so proud. What was your most memorable performance? 